It's Saturday, December 2nd, 2023, and today I'm doing my nine-month update on my recovery from total knee replacement surgery back on February 28th of 2023. Uh, so, how is my recovery going? Well, it's not 100% yet. I still have some issues with the muscles and ligaments around my right knee. For example, I just went on a fairly uh, fast 1.3 mile hike. I did it in 19 minutes on a, it's on a road, so it isn't really a hike, more of a walk. And which is about a 4.2 miles an hour, which was a, a good workout, both uh, cardiovascularly and uh, for my knee. But at the end of the hike, my uh, quadriceps muscle on the outside, about oh three four inches above the knee, uh, was pretty sore. And also I had a fair amount of soreness on the side of my knee uh, where one of the ligaments uh, goes by. So basically uh, that uh, was unpleasant. But it didn't keep me from walking 1.3 miles just a few minutes ago at a 4 plus mile per hour pace. So uh, there have been a few things that I've been doing. Uh, since my last update a month ago, I have been walking quite a lot. I've been out almost every day. We had a couple days where it rained all day. I didn't go out on those days. But on every other day, I have been out and walked. And I tallied it up. In November, I walked 52 miles. So that's not too bad. Actually, that's more than I usually walk in November. Uh, I've been taking advantage of the fact that we live next door to Acadia National Park. The woods over there are Acadia National Park. And uh, so we, my wife and I, have been going, you know, every other day to uh, trails in Acadia National Park and walking them. My longest walk so far has been about four miles. And as I said, we're averaging about one and three quarters miles a day for most days. And today, relatively short walk, 1.3 miles. I might go for another walk a little later. I did this one uh, by myself, uh, largely so that I could push the pace. I wanted to get some cardiovascular benefit from it and also see how my knee felt after walking a bit over a mile at a quick pace. And I'm quite pleased to say that I'm back now. Uh, the knee is a little tight around that ligament, but other than that, it doesn't feel bad at all. The joint itself is uh, is working fine, and there's no pain in the joint. It's just the muscles and ligaments around the joint that aren't happy. What about other issues? Well, I have to admit, I got a little lazy, and pretty much for up until about two weeks ago, I stopped doing the knee bending exercises. And that uh, turns out to have been a mistake because when I decided to start doing them again, because I noticed I was not bending my knee as far as I thought I should be, and I measured my knee band, I was only at about 115 degrees. So I had lost quite a bit. Consequently, I've started doing knee bending exercises again and am, have gotten back up to oh, 123, 124 degrees. And I'll continue doing them until I get back up over 130, which is where I peaked. So, uh, you know, I guess what I'd say is uh, don't become complacent. Uh, this new knee is a lifelong thing. you got to keep working at it. Uh, if you slack off and don't uh, bend it, <laughs> you will lose some of that ability. Now, it did come back, but it's not without some discomfort and uh, a lot of stretching. I've been doing probably 50 or 60 knee bend stretches a day for the last two weeks, and uh, it has netted me about seven or eight degrees. So, 
I'm hoping that uh, next uh, month or so will net me back to where I was back in June. But we'll see. Uh, my next appointment with the surgeon, which I think is going to be the last one, is scheduled for March 6th. So I've still got three months to go before I see the surgeon again. And I'm hoping to get as much walking as I can in during that time and gradually, uh, you know, improve my knee strength and by continuing to bend it, get my flexure back to where it should be. So that's kind of where I am right now. The knee is working okay. Uh, the muscles around it still not as ha happy and they do get tire fairly quickly and I do still have this pressure on the outside of my knee. Let me show you where. Okay, there's my knee and the pressure I feel is right in here which is right where a ligament <laughs> happens to pass and uh, so you know that ligament is just gonna have to stretch out a little bit I think and gradually I think the uh, pressure and discomfort from it will go away. So that's it. Nine months out. I'm walking. I can walk much faster than I could before. As I said, I just finished 1.3 miles at a 4.2 mile an hour pace, which is a pretty good walking pace. And, uh, you know, the leg feels pretty good right now. Um, what, uh, seven and a half minutes after I finish that walk. I'm sure that uh, later today it will be tired. But, you know, if I don't push, I won't get better. Okay, so that's where I am at nine months since my total knee replacement on my right knee. Things are going pretty well, but progress is slow. And right now I'm just working on building my stamina up and getting things working right. So, hope you found it interesting, uh, and uh, hopefully you're doing at least as well as I am if you've had a total knee replacement. Thanks for watching.